Hello and welcome to this new video. It is a part of a series, so if you are new, please take a look to the previous videos because they are all connected. You will find the link in the description below. Today, we will see how to make a web server to monitor a network of sensors. In my case, the web server will run on a node MCU board and I have two photo resistors, each one connected to another MCU. You can apply this example to any kind of sensor and for a bigger number of uh, uh, sensors. For every board, I choose a static uh, IP like uh, you see in the picture. The sensor 1 and 2 will be listening for any request and they will deliver the value of uh, the sensor. We did this already in the video client server communication. They will act as a, a server. For the web server, it will act as a server so it will wait for any incoming request. When it will receive one it will send a request for the other board asking for the value of the sensor in the end this information will be displayed in a web page first go to the site easycoding.tn and search for any link to tunyot we will start by the sensor number one i can use a template to save time server with an open network i deleted here some blocks that I don't need in this case. And also I put the name of my network. Don't forget to change the IP address. In the last uh, part, we will be answering to any request by the value of uh, the sensor. In my case, it is an analog input. Now I can upload the program. As you can see, the board containing the first sensor is working well. Now I will program the second board using the same program and, and by changing only the IP address. As you can see, it is also working fine. Now I will program the web server. I will use also a template server in an open uh, network. I will add two string variables that will contain the value of my sensors.
After the client flash block, I will send a request to the sensors board asking for the value of the attached sensor. Change the IP address and I will put the result of my request in the variable sensor. After that, I will keep only the important information from the answer, which is the value of the sensor. We saw that already in the client server communication video. Now I will put these values into a nice uh, web page. The head part will contain uh, the uh, title of my page and the body will contain the value of uh, my uh, sensors. If you have some knowledge of HTML, you can make a better interface. I will also display the number of seconds since the program started, just to be sure that my server is working. Now I can upload the program and the run the server. In the first test, my sensors are not plugged uh, yet. As you can see, there is uh, no value of uh, the sensors. Now I plugged uh, my board into different uh, places uh, and uh, this is uh, the result. I really enjoyed uh, making uh, this example, so I hope uh, uh, the same for you. 
Don't hesitate to contact me if you have any problem. See you soon. Bye.